Okay, so everybody uses these for rivets. Uh, I've never used them before. Obviously, going to need some card. Going to need some features. He's a knight, so shields, horses, knights, horses, and of course the guy himself for the top. So, can I build a sarcophagus out of this little bundle? I reckon so. Here we go. So the first step here really is just figuring out how big the kind of footprint of the sarcophagus is going to be and that's all going to start with the lid because that's what's going to contain the figure of the ancient knight. Um, so taking that piece of chipboard and I'm just uh, penciling out around his dimensions so that I get a good idea of the rectangle and then simply chop that rectangle out. I didn't want to create just a simple box. I want to create lots of sort of nooks and crannies and little details. Um, so to begin that, I felt that if I could have the figure recessed into the lid, I wouldn't have to worry about the fact that there's a form and shape to the back of the miniature I'm using because that would get hidden by this recess. So I created this uh, little uh, set of almost walls that I just glued around the outer edge. I slightly stepped them in so that I get that little ex extra bit of detail feature. I'm not too worried about exposed ends of cut card. It's not really going to get uh, seen once all of the details are done. So I take white tacky glue coat the whole thing and then I use my go-to material which is this uh, browning plaster and I feel I just need to restate browning plaster costs about 10 pounds for a 25 kilogram bag I have probably used less than half a kilogram in the last year to two years it really is very cheap and sets really hard can't rate it highly enough if you can get hold of it and then just check the guy in the uh, the overall build and that pretty much then defines the size and of the the overall sarcophagus stroke crypt <laughs> i've got to say i'm not a fan of making measurements using rulers templates and plans <laughs> most of the fun comes from just the discovery of how you're going to do the next bit um you know and and it allows your your mind to be able to take artistic leaps and jumps so embrace those mistakes if they happen and uh, in, enjoy the successes when they do they all add to the tool set that we use as we build our understanding of being crafters and builders of terrain and as I start to chop up chunks of card, uh, it would be an ideal time just to say, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you everybody who's subscribed recently. I'm so pleased with everybody's response to the videos. And of course, thank you to my Patreons, whose support just makes me want to drive this channel to new heights. Okay, now having figured out my overall height, because I've got a miniature there to do it with, I uh, have chopped out my bits of card and it's time to start putting this lot together. So I'm starting to form an idea in my head as I go. And the first thing I want to do is create this kind of heavy base um, with a sort of a deep recess in it. So I just uh, sandwiched a piece of chipboard between two slightly larger pieces of chipboard. And that's going to give me a nice little feature on the base there. And it's going to raise up the, the height a little. And then I just need to put together the bits of card I've cut out to create the basic box of the sarcophagus. Uh, so I'm just gluing those uh, on the base and checking the lid out for the fit. It seems all good. Okay. So with the basic box part built, uh, sealed with tacky glue and covered with a little bit of browning plaster, uh, it's onto the steps that are the, uh, the sort of the secret part of the sarcophagus for this particular um uh, encounter.
And that was just a simple case of taking uh, some chipboard and chopping it down, it, it, you know, incrementally to uh, slot inside that sarcophagus there. Uh, a simple process. Um, I just applied some nicks and chips to the fronts of the steps to make sure that there was some detailing. <clears throat> Glue it all together. And then at this point, I'm just checking the fit. And then, yes, of course, the old favourite, browning plaster. Okay, it's on to uh, some exterior detailing for the sarcophagus. Now, obviously, I want this kind of night theme to uh, to the whole build. So I've got, for some reason, an abundance of old horses, knights. I think it's from my old Bretonian army, if truth be told. Um, which is in poor disarray these days. Uh, so, yes, I'm... Uh, Chopping up the heads to fit onto the corners of the sarcophagus to uh, to start the detailing. And hot melt glue is perfectly adequate for this. It, uh, it fast acting uh, means I can just crack on with the build. And then I have this sprue of shields, another thing I seem to have in a bit of abundance. Um, and I'm just going to attach these to the ends of the sarcophagus uh, to add that another little bit of detailing. So snip them out and then just uh, drop them in place uh, just to check how they look. And then a little bit of hot melt glue and um, that's it. They're, they're done. So returning my attention to the lid now, I'm just taking a knife and putting a few nicks and dinks into that lid to make sure it looks a bit roughed up. Um, and then I, <laughs> I finally get to use these rhinestones, I think people call them. I've seen so many people use these for various bits of, uh, of surface detailing that I thought I've got to get me a pack of those. I think they cost 80 pence or a pound and there's there must be a hundred of them in this pack so I'm gonna have them for a while anyway stick those to the lid as a little bit of uh, surface detail and yeah as you can see big fingers tiny rhinestones not the greatest of mixes but I persevered and I got there in the end so anyway okay putting that to one side I wanted to do the detailing on the long sides of the sarcophagus now and for this I just uh, fancied something just simple archways a little bit of decorative stonework and so using a bit of cereal box card I uh, just free handed out a couple of archways that I uh, attached to the sarcophagus again with tacky glue and then I was able to finish that off with the browning plaster. I did feel that the corners needed a tiny bit more detailing so I took a barbecue skewer and I just snipped it down to um, a manageable height that I just sort of attached to either side of the horse's heads where they connect into the corner. It just made them look like they were seated there a little bit better. Okay, all of the construction is done, everything's glued together and it's all been given a nice flat grey primer, um, simple as. And uh, Now on to doing the paint job, which is pretty quick really. And it begins of course with the black wash, which is for this just black acrylic paint that's been well thinned with water so that it flows nice and readily. And you can see the lid here. <laughs> I failed to film me actually gluing in the miniature, but you you know how it works. Bit of hot melt glue and it's in there. So once that was dry, I just went over and I did a very uh, rugged dry brush with a, just a plain grey, not my usual choice of colour, but in this instance, that's what I was after. Just a nice flat, cool grey. In this case, I felt that I wanted to do another black wash, although this is a thinner black wash. It just allowed me to just emphasise some of the shadow recess areas, so it was a bit more controlled than the initial one. And then that's followed, as I'm doing here, with a very pale green uh, wash, just to add a little bit of aged um, 
litching and, and, and discoloration to the base of the sarcophagus. I wanted to add a little more variation um, on the features around the sarcophagus so I just picked out a couple of points that I painted with this uh, sort of I think it's a bronze colour that um, just a dry brushing of metallic across those there there just pick out a couple of little details here and there and then I finished it all off with a very light tan dry brushing which was spectacularly filmed very poorly but I'm hoping you'll get the idea in the uh, beauty shots that are coming up now Thanks for watching guys.